Thursday, November 6th. Welcome to the latest show on Earth. Good evening, ladies. Great show for you today. Starting off with the news, uh, rock-eating bacteria is uh, found in, I guess, Chile, in the Atacama Desert. And yes. uh, Liam, would you like to elaborate on this rock-eating bacteria? What, what is it, collect Collectico or Collecto? Uh, anyway, it's a Japanese Coldico. bio... Coldelco. Coldelco, which is a Japanese biotechnology company, and they're uh, developing these, these bacteria that eat the rock around the metal ore, so that it'll be easier for them to mine for things like copper due to the uh, increasing computer technologies industry. So it's a necessary thing. That's crazy that and bacteria eats rocks. It's, it's not as cool as heavy metal eating super It's worms, easier than you know, just cutting stuff out and then melting it down. A lot less work. Speaking of melting down, uh, global warming is threatening um, the existence of lemmings in Norway. And uh, you know, lemmings. And I, and I know what you probably are thinking or you probably just said. Who gives a shit about lemmings? But I do, because they're cute. And you know what? They don't commit suicide. They just jump off the edge of cliffs, which I think is cool. But if they did commit suicide, it would be okay. In Washington, because in Washington, they just passed, what, what was it, Proposition... 1,000. Or, no, Initiative 1,000. Initiative 1,000. on the ballot. Where, initiative 1,000, where, oh, 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 it where gives patients will have the right to pick some kind of medication which will kill them some kind of suicide medication. Dr. Kevorkian isn't even necessary anymore. You can do it yourself. And also in uh, other ballots that were passed that are interesting is uh, in Michigan, uh, medical marijuana proposition yeah. so was passed. Be, you'll I think be seeing pro those... Uh, proposal 1 makes medical marijuana you get your okay Michigan for uh, state ID, get qualified a patients. cannabis club card. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, and then Massachusetts oh, also just uh, lowered the criminalization of marijuana so that when you get caught, you can only get a fine now. And no you can't jail, go to jail time. So, uh, so that's good. Potheads in Massachusetts rejoice. Massachusetts yeah. and, and Michigan and marijuana. And, uh, PerezHilton.com is reporting that California is still counting up the ballots on Proposition K, apparently. How, how official, if yeah. Perez Hilton says I mean, it's got to I mean, be true. I figure it's worth I, mentioning, because if it is true, then, you know, whatever. But if it's I, not, then it's on that, Perez uh, Hilton and not us, because, you know. I know what? that Ellen DeGeneres is, uh, is up in arms about Proposition 8 passing, and uh, so is Melissa Etheridge. In fact, Melissa yeah. Etheridge said that she has refused to pay taxes to California State to California State unless mm -hmm. they overturn Proposition Eight and you know, you return know, to mean, the the gay way things were before. I don't know how that's going to work out for uh, Miss Etheridge, but in uh, other news, Little House on the Prairie came out season one on DVD. Yes, and um, but so it's. It was uh, labeled, you know, for adult users only. It didn't yeah. get the, the PG rating they didn't, that it probably should no, have gotten. They didn't submit it to Or anyone maybe it's a DVD feature with lots of racy extras that Little House on the Prairie didn't have before. I mean, who knows? Either way, if you're very, under 18, you can't buy Little House on the Prairie season one, which is absurd. And a um, Nice little, uh, you know, dog and all that. <laughs> but Speaking of little dogs, uh, George Bush's little dog, Barney, uh, attacked... A reporter. Uh, AP, or no, a Reuters, a Reuters reporter today in the White hey, House. You know, there, there, there is a picture of him online, like, always, you fiercely know. biting the hand. We like, ah, don't have the you image. Couldn't get that picture, but no. it's it's all right. You can see Barney's it. dog. It's, still. it's a little dog. <coughs> maybe maybe Obama should think twice about having a dog in the White House, but you know it's going to be a hard thing, you know, because you kind of have to. Yeah, he already promised his kids. I mean, like, in front of the entire country, so kind of yeah. no going back on that one. Anyway, in Arizona, a woman was attacked by a fox. It could you know? be even worse, you yeah. know? Yeah, apparently... No, it wasn't it was, that kind of fox. I just thought that but, was a uh, much cuter fox it, to it show. It was a cute fox. Anyway, you know, because uh, who wants to see, like, a, a fox attacking someone? Anyway, this woman got, got a fox, bit her on a trail that she was running on, like, just jogging in Arizona, and then she had to run a mile back to her car with the fox hanging in her arm. Yeah, and latched then, onto her arm. And then she was like, ah! And then she pried it off, threw it into her trunk. Closed the trunk, got in her car, and drove to the hospital where she she brought in the uh, fox and was like, does this fox have rabies? Do I have rabies? Do I need to <laughs> yeah. worry about it? It could have been worse, though. At they, least she, the fox she only did bit get, her. Yeah, she did At get... Least, yeah, it, much, it could have been much worse. It could have been, you know, a fox with a gun <laughs> that could have shot her. <laughs> From the her. future, who flies spaceships and, uh, yeah, all right. 
ha, ha. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme is in a new independent oh. film about himself. Yeah, JCVD. Yeah, man. Jean-Claude Van Damme is the man. If you're a, as big a Jean-Claude Van Damme fan as I am, then you'll go out and see that movie. I like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, it's, it's, kind of, shit. it's kind of based in, somewhat in reality, somewhat not in reality. So there's ninjas probably that he's gonna have to fight because that's just you know reality for him. I have no idea what the movie's and about. And then but you know Jack you know, Black is gonna be in the new Gulliver's Gulliver's Travels movie, which is you know one of those you know it's about a guy who's a giant basically. Yeah, if you've never if you don't know Gulliver's Travel, it's a dude who is a giant and then the little people kind of get mad at him. Other you know, travels that we'll be talking about right now is space, space travels. We've space got photos. Some new space photos. Some, that's out in space. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and that also is out in space. Lots of colors out in space. Yeah, you would think it'd be a, a much darker that's, place. That's actually, uh, I think that's Mercury. So. Yeah, which is in space. And then that is actually Yemen, which is, you know, this is just a view from space of Yemen. Which is also in space, I guess, if you look at it from I guess. an exterior like, point of view. I mean, view. if you think about things like anyway. that, it's lots of color in that as well. That wraps up the news. 